Yo, what's up guys? Coming at you with some Madden Ultimate Team video. This game was amazing for me. Now this guy right here, everything that happened to him, every BS, cheese, whatever, he deserved it. This guy ran the same dang play almost every time. Well, I wouldn't say the same play, but the same route. That drag route that just got picked off the first play of the game. I can't score a touchdown, so I kick a field goal, but uh, he ran drag routes all game, and it was always Greg Olson. And you're going to look at me, and I'm going to start showing full drives, his drives. Because his drives are nothing but drag routes. Like, you'll see it. Like, after this, it's nothing but drag routes. And I'll show you it. And you're just going to be looking at me like, are you are you dumb? Are you okay, fam? Because it's so simple to stop. But I don't know what it was with me this game. I just didn't pick up on it until late in the game. But he sent an all-out blitz right there. And Jason Witten, my boy, Jason Witten takes it to the house but yeah you're just gonna be looking at it like what were you thinking this man was running one route the entire game and it was the only route that was he was having success with early on is I'm gonna start showing full drives his drives right here because he just he just starts hitting that route and it doesn't and I don't pick up on to onto it until late until later in the game as you see, he runs with the other receivers out there, but then Greg Olson will be on a drag. Oh, this is actually one of the rare plays that he actually doesn't do it. But you'll see from this point, he'll just start hitting that route because it starts doing success for him early on. And then it's just like, it's just annoying when people do that. Like, Obviously, I like it because I pick up on it and they don't want to change their ways. So, but it's just annoying because I, like, look at that. Like, Luke Keekly dove for it and I didn't want him to. But, yeah, that route right there, he just kept hitting it over and over again. And this is why it just makes me feel stupid when people hit the same route on me multiple times. Because it really distress it's almost disrespectful for me like I he thinks I can't stop it so as you see right there I tried to bait him with Anthony Barr but I did I went in too much like I blitzed too much I shouldn't have done that I should have waited on the outside or something but yeah I just don't like it when people run the same route but I kind of like it I kind of don't it's like a love hate thing because he wasn't going to change it and you know, I know what was going on, and it was just difficult. Like, well, it wasn't difficult, but I mean, it was just frustrating to go up against that. So you see, I just know, like, look at me. I just know that he's going to do that. But, you know, I guess it's better than me getting dotted up. Because he could easily, if you look at the dagger, um, if you look at his main route, he could have easily picked that. He could have easily chose that route and got a big gang out of it because I would always dip down with the linebacker the middle linebacker that's supposed to be covering that I would always play the drag and that's a problem that I have I always tend to play the drags when I see one I just play it and then I leave stuff over the middle wide wide open as he starts changing it to slants and then he runs this play for a while well actually it's still a drag it's just a double drag route so yeah he just he's just gonna he's gonna run the same play multiple times as it hits fourth and five here looking for the stop going to play cover two and I see Greg Olson so that's the side I'm going to play to but he throws to the other receiver but you see me I'm trying to bait him I try to blitz in and then I run back out so I just need to it's just making simple changes you know I don't want to call man to man because he isn't gun split close and I could lose man-to-man -man coverage, but Anthony Barr, again, showing you why he's a big threat on the defensive side. 
but I got an updated team I'll put a screenshot of them at the end of the video so you can see it I got an updated team as right there I get a nice user pick I was following one route and then I switched to the other one and he wasn't ready as I hit this underneath route to Deshaun Jackson and he's gone just don't even try this is team of the week Deshaun Jackson no reason to try but Deion Sanders catches up but it's too late it's way too late at that point in time as I get a as I get a touchdown it's 16 to 0 and we're not even past halftime yet or I mean 17 to 0 as you see me just playing this route I know where he's going just trying to you know get the book and he saw me on it I was perfectly playing that and he still threw it but here I'm gonna try and bait him with the haha -ha clan dicks just throw it down but he goes deep he actually didn't hit it and his receiver made that catch and so I gotta keep that in the back of my head but he's making Tom Brady look like a rookie this is sad but at the same time it's him doing it as you see I don't play that route with haha -ha clean dicks he hits it so okay so maybe I went a little bit too hard at the beginning maybe he doesn't deserve everything maybe he didn't deserve every pick that he threw this game but it was just annoying so yeah this there was one play that I did feel bad for him but this is just like he got bailed out right here and I think this is actually the play where I felt bad for him just watch this play like it's just so stupid oh wait not this play never mind this was actually a really good play by me not this play <laughs> disregard what I said that was a really nice play by me that was a really good play and the way my offense I'm gonna talk about my offense because the way my offense is set up is deep threat offensive scheme Dallas and all um, deep threat so obviously right there what I want from my offense is uh is I want really big plays you know not that many plays called and I want them to be big plays like I want one play for 70 yards and stuff as I get a two-point conversion so he hits the drag route to Larry Fitzgerald and it's actually this play right here you guys this play I kind of felt bad for him a little bit but not really because it bounces off of my head and I pick it <laughs> I mean I kind of felt a little bit bad but not really <laughs> it's just funny because it bounced right off my head and I picked it off Luke Keekly playing like a boss out here There's Matt Stafford he's lining it up too nothing none of my guys are really playing that bad you know this was really a good game as you see right here Deshaun Jackson like what and then I get sacked but other than that everybody's playing good even McManus I gotta put the kicker in here he's playing good too it's just it's just all fun you know when you're winning by 28 nothing it's all fun as he throws another pick and this is haha -ha Clinton Dix but um yeah he's gonna pause the game quit right here so then I'm gonna go ahead and put in a screenshot of my team please tell me if I need any upgrades anywhere um, I got a lot of team of the week players I spent all my money on that Terrence Newman so that's why I really don't have anything but if you have any suggestions leave a comment and I'll see you when I see you guys. Peace.